economical and dependable, practical and smart. Those are all words that we've used before to describe the Toyota Corolla. But what about sporty? Well, to be honest, the Corolla has felt lazy like a Sunday morning sometimes. But this 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback wants to change our minds about that. Hi, I'm Aaron Cole with The Car Connection here in San Diego to take our first drive of the 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. And we get the hint. Toyota is offering the Corolla hatchback in only sporty grades, SE and XSE, with a six-speed manual or a continuously variable automatic. The manual is rev matching and the CVT sports paddle shifters and a fixed first gear for better takeoff. The Corolla gets a power boost too. The hatchback is powered by a new two liter inline four that makes 168 horsepower, and that's up more than 30 horsepower from last year. And it even weighs the same. The four wheel independent suspension, something the Corolla sedan skipped last year, helps cornering in the hatchback too. It's even stiffer. More power, better handling, same weight. Those are making all the right noises for us. Inside the eight inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, more comfortable seats and split folding rear seats aren't necessarily sporty, but they don't hurt either. Top end models get a premium stereo from JBL and a mix of leather and cloth to keep the cabin interesting. CarPlay compatibility is new and it was totally overdue. As far as practical and smart, the Corolla hatch does those things just fine. Its hatchback shape and cargo capacity make it useful for everyday hauling, especially with 18 cubic feet of cargo room. It's a few inches shorter than the Civic hatchback, but both make good runabouts for weekend detail. Now we have nitpicks. The rear seats aren't good for long legs and the door opening is small and awkward. The Corolla hatchback is also fitted with the same safety systems that Toyota is rolling out across most of its models. It comes with standard automatic emergency braking, active lane control, road sign recognition, and adaptive cruise control. Toyota hasn't yet announced how much it'll cost or its fuel economy ratings, but we expect to know more when it goes on sale in July. We expected all that from a Corolla, but how it drives is another story. It's comfortable and calm, but it's not especially quiet inside. The added horsepower is nice, but not enough to transform it. The CVT isn't particularly refined, and it hamstrings the engine in certain aspects. If you're looking for lively, then a manual is totally our pick. If you're looking for sporty, well, it's probably gonna need more power for that. But in the end, it's still a Corolla, and that matters to a lot of folks. Reporting from San Diego for The Car Connection, I'm Aaron Cole. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram.